Hello, welcome back to Writer's World Radio, episode 12. As always, I am the Honorable Matthew J. Graken, your host. So today, I'm recording this in February. I'm going to stick with the theme. It's Black History Month. So right now, I'm going to bring you my five, five-ish, top African-American writers. So let's kick it right off. Number five. Wally, don't call me famous anymore, Amos. Not only is he known for his cookies, his delicious cookies, that we all find in vending machines everywhere and in food stores. He has several cookbooks and self-help books. So why is he number five? Because of what he did not writing, which is the Learn to Read series on PBS. Helping people learning how to read, just as important as writing. He still to this day goes around in Hawaii where he lives, helping people learning how to read. I mean, that's fantastic. So that shoots him right to number five. Wonderful. And keep buying those cookies. Number four. Number four is Langston Hughes. Langston Hughes, he was a poet. I'm sorry, I keep reading my notes. A poet, a novelist, a playwright, his African-American themes made him a huge contributor to the Harlem Renaissance in the 20s. Not only that, he was a subject to uh, one of the themes in a song from Rent. So, number four, Langston Hughes. Number three. Number three, Loretta Hansberry. Don't know who she is? She is a playwright. Playwrights are writers too. She's a very important playwright. She wrote two, only two plays. Not too many, but two very influential plays. One more so than the other. The first one, Signs in Sidney Brewstein's Window. You never heard of it, neither have I. But her other one, you might have. A Reason in the Sun. Such an influential, such a prominent play, such a, a strong story. There's no reason why this sh she shouldn't be number three on this list. So, to Loretta Hansberry. Now, number two. Number two, Alexander Murray Palmer, also known Alex Haley. He was a Navy man, served in the service, you know, did wonderful things for our country. Thank you very much for that. But he also brought us a book in 1976. In 1976, he wrote a novel that was so influential, so well received, that in 1977, a year later, ABC made a miniseries on it. Not just any miniseries, a miniseries you might have heard of called Roots. Roots, the saga of an American family. Describing the depicting the, the hardship of African Americans, Africans brought over from Africa, of all places, to the States, and what they went through in those, in those hard times, and how they stuck together, and everything that, you know, the trials and tribulations that they had to go through. And <laughs> it brought us LeVar Burton. I mean, come on, we have to be thankful for that too. The man who founded Reading Rainbow that taught many of us how to read. But he's not number one. Number one, of course, of all people, shouldn't be hard to guess, Maya Angelou, the award-winning poet, author, academic. She, she's been dedications for presidents and governors. So she's been all over the place to teach classes. In her most profound writing, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. A, a story of herself that most of us probably have read in high school. So, essential reading right there. Those are my five. Two honorable mentions, W.E.B. Du Bois and August Wilson. Feel free to look them up. Do you have any mentions? Who do you think was probably influential and prominent in black writing? Either was, still is, or up and coming? 
put them in the notes below. Hit them out on Twitter. Again, use the hashtag Writers World Radio. Look me up on Twitter at Matthew J. Graken, or join the discussion also on Facebook at facebook.com slash Matthew J. Graken. Let's keep this discussion going. You know, all year round we can talk about African American writers, Asian writers, whoever, whatever writers you want to talk about. Thank you for joining uh, on this episode. Sorry, trying to cut it short. My battery's dying on my camera. But if you need help with any writing, any writing questions, if you want to bounce some ideas off, hit me up on the social network. You know, I'll definitely get back to you. I'm more than willing to help you out. That's what it's all about, community. We're helping each other. Um, if you have any suggestions on topics, again, put those posted below. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. I know your time is valuable. I hope you're enjoying this video cast or this podcast, whichever way you're listening it to. And uh, again, you know, it's about community. Let's keep these conversations going. And then I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. <laughs>